As frustration with Belarus grows in the bloc, some European leaders did not hold back on the last day of a summit in Brussels. They accused President Alexander Lukashenko of running a human trafficking ring and weaponizing migration by helping people to cross illegally into neighboring countries. We see the hybrid attack of Belarus regime, which has continued, which is becoming more and more aggressive. We see visa facilitation uh, efforts, we see uh, try, uh, tries of the Belarusian regime to find new connections, new destinations. The EU says that Minsk is flying people mainly from the Middle East into Belarus and helping them to cross the border into the bloc via Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. What are your Luxembourg's Prime Minister called on leaders to respect people's rights, a day after an eighth person died on the border where conditions for migrants are grim. Some countries want to build a border fence, but after the meeting, EU leaders agreed to strengthen borders and impose more sanctions on Minsk. We consider the behaviour of the Belarus government as a hybrid attack. The people used by Lukashenko are victims. We must help them. No one's life should be used for political issues. And this is an instrumentalization of migration to polit put political pressure on the European Union. We will keep up the pressure on the Lukashenko regime. And the problem with the European Union's borders is not so much um, that uh, we don't have enough border guards or, or that we don't have enough fences. The, the, the real problem is that when people manage to enter illegally uh, on EU territory, uh, that they are fairly certain that they will be able to stay, even if they do not have a right to stay. With Belarus's actions widely seen as retaliation for existing EU sanctions, some wonder whether more penalties are likely to stop Minsk. But how to tackle migration has long been a source of division in the bloc. At her last summit as German Chancellor, Angela Merkel expressed regret that after so many discussions, the EU has yet to come up with a coherent migration plan. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Brussels.